And so those are the big things to know in terms of women. Uh, if we go to the male patient, albeit guys are less likely to have thyroid issues compared to their female counterparts. In terms of fertility, thyroid does play a role. And so for male fertility, we know that if a guy has especially an underactive thyroid, or if he has really active, a hyperactive thyroid, but really high hyperactivity, his semen volume can go almost to zero. Yes. And so he can actually just not even ejaculate semen. Again, remember I said thyroid hormone is critically important on every tissue in the body. And so it goes without saying that the testicular tissue, which actually produces sperm and produces uh, testosterone, if it's not getting that get up and go signal, that metabolism driver from the thyroid hormone, it is also going to stop its general activity. And its sole function, the testicle, is it's a factory for sperm and testosterone. And so if the thyroid isn't working well, the factory starts malfunctioning or it stops altogether. So you can see lower semen volume. You can see changes in sperm density or concentration. You can see changes in how the sperm move or the motility. And certainly the type of sperm being formed can change and that's known as sperm morphology. So how do we assess that? Well, it's certainly one of the things we consider when we look at a semen analysis for a guy is if we see abnormalities in the semen, certainly in my clinic, it triggers me to do a workup on that male patient, which includes looking at his thyroid, his TSH levels. So that's important. So in summary, the big things I want you to know today and to remember about your thyroid is if you think any of the things I just mentioned may apply to you, talk to your doctor. Uh, if you're planning to talk to your doctor, but you want to have a little bit more information when you go to your doctor, then consider getting it checked, right? Uh, certainly if you're 30 years old and have never had your thyroid checked, it should be checked.